In this video, we're going to be using the freeway razor along with the ladder belt and the safety belt and actually run through the use of it with the aid of Sarah sitting here in the chair. So the first thing we need to do is ask Sarah to shuffle forward slightly in the chair. So if you can just shuffle forward slightly, that will do. Thank you very much. I'm going to introduce the razor. Sarah can obviously put her feet on there. If somebody needs a bit of assistance, you can obviously get down and assist one leg or both onto the foot plate. So I'm going to ask you just to lift your feet and place them on there. And we're going to go, I'm going to go stop just short of the shins because I can see straight away that this knee pad is actually a little bit too low. So I'm just going to pop the brakes on and I'm going to get down and adjust this by pulling the two little pins out from the back, raising it up slightly into position. I want it just below the knee, so we'll go for about there brakes off and just bring it in a little bit closer so it comes up to the shins and then we lock the brakes off again. Both brakes. So we can use this in several ways. First of all we can use it for somebody who's able to stand themselves. If that's the case I can ask Sarah to hold on to the bars anywhere around there and all I need to do as a caregiver is counterbalance the unit either with a hand or a foot on the base or both. So I'm going to stand behind one foot, hand on the top, and when you, whenever you're ready, you can stand up there. Obviously, Sarah's very able-bodied and able to do that. Have a seat again. Okay. If Sarah can't do that and she needs a little bit more assistance, then I'm just going to get the ladder belt, which is the long blue belt. Looks a bit like a ladder when you hold it that way. And this will attach onto the silver discs at the back of the unit. So I'm going to attach it on the left hand side of the unit. The sleeve on top here is going to come around and behind Sarah's bottom. So if you want to hold on to anywhere and they're ready to stand, I'm going to bring the belt around, pop the sleeve behind Sarah's bottom, but I'm not going to physically put it under a bottom. This manoeuvre is about bringing the hips forward, not about lifting the bottom off the chair. So if I come back around and I get myself in a good position, counterbalancing with my left hand here, taking hold of the handle, I'm going to encourage Sarah's bottom and hips to move forward as Sarah tries to stand. So I'm going to ask Sarah to put about 50% of effort in. So whenever you're ready, if you start to stand, I can then pull back on this and lock it in position. And Sarah can basically just sit down on that now. She's actually locked in position. At which point, we can take the brakes off and I can move Sarah round from one piece of equipment to another. In this case, we're going to go back to the same chair. So bring Sarah back into position, reactivate the brakes. Now, if Sarah needs support in sitting as well, we can do that. If you come at an angle and pull on the handle and walk to the side, it will release the belt from the, the disc on here. Hand on there again, and whenever you're ready, Sarah, sit down. But I can control the pace of Sarah sitting down until she lands in the chair so we don't get a flop into the back of the chair in a bad position. So Sarah should be nicely at the back of the chair now. So I'm just going to move the units out of the way. And we'll just run through this once more. Just lean forward for me, there you go. This time we're going to use the safety belt, which is this one here. So Sarah again, if I can ask you to shuffle slightly further forward. This belt actually fits around Sarah, and this is one is designed to support her once she has stood up. So she's going to stand herself up, but I'm then going to support her with the belt in order to carry out the transfer. So again, down to the base, tuck slightly around at the bottom. I'm going to fasten the Velcro around the hips. I'm grab that there. Just put your arm down by side for a second. So I just grab the long buckle fastening belt, grab that side there. So we want this belt, this isn't designed to be tight and hold her in, it's designed to be as long as possible. So once we get Sarah standing, this is going to attach to the unit at the top, I'll show you in a second, that's then going to support her whilst we've got her stood up. So again, can you pop your feet onto there for me? The knee pad's already set from last time. Counterbalance again, foot and hand, so whenever you're ready, 
Hold on in any position there and stand up. As soon as she stood, this belt now goes over the centerpiece and I can pull if I want to adjust the amount of support. So just have a seat there for me. You can literally just sit on that belt. Stand up again. If I pull it tighter, I'll have a seat again. So it'll hold her in a position. She can't fall regardless. You have the feet on the base, the knees blocked, and then the hips are held in position by the belt there. This one's designed for transporting. If you were going a further distance, we can use that one for asthma transporting from A to B. In this case, we're just going to go straight back to the same chair. Back to the chair. Brakes are on. So if you can just take your weight slightly, stand slightly forward for me. We'll lift that over there and have a seat. And that's how to use the freeway razor without a belt, with the ladder belt, or with the safety belt. Thanks for watching.